All right, so the next couple of days are very important for crypto. We're seeing Bitcoin holding just above the 200 week moving average, which is a key psychological level in terms of where the market is going. Cardano is approaching its Vasil hard fork and we're seeing major announcements come out in terms of new partnerships and developments for the ADA ecosystem. And in terms of regulators, we've seen some big changes take place over the last 24 hours in terms of bans that we definitely need to talk about. So if you enjoy this sort of content, I'd appreciate it if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's jump right in, starting off with the overall market, then we'll get into regulators and Cardano. So first thing's gonna be overall market sitting right above that $1 trillion market cap still, which is very good to see, very important. Despite negative news coming out from Elon Musk and Tesla, we were able to see Bitcoin hold above that $1 trillion market cap, and it is well above $23,000 per coin. So all of that is good news. In addition to that, we are seeing that the 200 week moving average Bitcoin is just above the 200 week moving average. Bitcoin 200 week moving average is at 22,600 and currently Bitcoin is at 23,600. So over the next 48 hours, this is a key crucial psychological level for crypto investors because we have never been below this 200 week moving average for very long in the history of Bitcoin. So it's very nice to see and very bullish to see that Bitcoin is back above it. And we like to see the weekly close within the next 48 hours stay above this level. That could be indicating that we have already reached the bottom and that we're starting to turn around. In terms of what's going on with regulators, there's some bad news that we need to talk about. First thing is going to be with Taiwan. Taiwan has officially banned um, cryptocurrency uh, purchases with credit cards. A lot of people use credit cards to fund cryptocurrency purchases. There's a number of websites and apps out there that allow you to do this. But according to a new document and new agreement and bill in Taiwan, they said that now it's no longer going to be allowed. Uh, Taiwan's financial regulators will not allow cryptocurrency to be purchased with credit cards. They said um, cryptocurrency is a very highly speculative and high risk nature asset. Credit cards should not be used for this. They said ultimately, credit card should be used as a payment tool, not a speculative tool. So that is why they are viewing it as this. It's not all bad though, because they have come out and said that they are currently working on a central bank digital currency. They're currently testing one and they have plans of rolling this out. They said ultimately though, nothing against crypto. They just don't want people going into debt using credit cards to fund crypto purchases. And I completely 100% understand this. It is very risky and it could get people in a lot of trouble if they're going all in using credit cards to buy crypto because of the speculative nature of it. It's really just protecting people. So I'm not too upset about that. Let me know your thoughts. You think it's a good thing or bad thing? Should people be able to buy crypto with credit cards? Last things that are going on is going to be with Cardano. A lot has happened with Cardano over the last few days. I want to quickly interrupt today's video to bring you a word from our channel partner, Fairdesk. Fairdesk is one of our longest term sponsors on the channel, and they are a cryptocurrency exchange that offers up to 125x leverage. This is the platform where I have currently been doing a lot of my leverage trading as of recent recently because they have a very simple and easy to use platform that really provides investors with access to the global crypto markets. Some of the features that I personally enjoy and use the most on Fairdesk are three things. First is that they have a simple mobile app with great charting features if you like technical analysis. The second is that they also offer leverage trading on dozens of the top trading cryptocurrencies. And the third is that they have easy access to short or long any of your favorite cryptos. If you sign up for Fairdesk today using the link in the description, you can get up to a $600 bonus when you deposit $100 or more. So if you're interested in trading crypto specifically with leverage, I definitely think you should check out Fairdesk. Remember, leverage trading is high risk, high reward, but I think this platform is definitely worth checking out. Anyways, let's get back to the program. First is that Cardano has had a major partnership with Trust Wallet that now gives over 50 million users, 50 million Trust Wallet users, access to the Cardano ecosystem. In a recent announcement on July 19th, Cardano um, and Trust Wallet partnered up and they said that Cardano is considered one of the most promising ecosystems in the crypto space, which is why this is a significant milestone for the Trust Wallet community. And according to the post, they said now... Um, the benefits are going to include being able to buy ADA directly on Trust Wallet, having the ability to store, send, and receive ADA, 
be able to buy and sell other tokens in the Cardano ecosystem. And ultimately, you're going to be able to use Trust Wallet to able to track Cardano and Cardano's ecosystem token prices. So this is a very exciting announcement because Trust Wallet has 50 million users and seeing this just is opening the door up more for adoption of Cardano in the whole ecosystem, helping it to grow, which is very exciting to see. Other thing happening with Cardano is in terms of development. As we've been speaking about over the last few weeks, Cardano is continuing to see that it's having more, develop more developer activity than any other blockchain out there. According to um, recent data compiled by Sentiment, they are a cryptocurrency data analytics firm, and they said the Cardano ecosystem ranks first in terms of developer activity, well ahead of Cardano, well ahead of Ethereum, well ahead of Polkadot, well ahead of um, every other blockchain out there. And if we're looking at the recent posts and data, we can see that Cardano had 380 7.3 for developer activity over the last 30 days versus Ethereum, which only had 274.87. And basically what those numbers are is those numbers are um, GitHub events. Developers actually making changes and using the ecosystem. They track the number of GitHub events that a project has generated. And Cardano had about 50% more activity than Ethereum, about 50% more activity than Polkadot and all the other blockchains out there. This is good because we are seeing the Vasil hard fork coming up. We're seeing a lot of changes, a lot of projects that are excited to launch and come out because of this Vasil hard fork. And I expect that we're only going to see more positive news come out within the next two weeks as we see the Vasil hard fork go live. Last thing going on is going to be with Cardano's price. Cardano is looking to at that 70 cents per coin level right now. Recently, Cardano broke back above 45 cents per coin and even got back above 50 cents per coin. Currently, it's sitting just above 50 cents per coin at 50, uh, like 0.502. Uh, per coin. So this is very important because if we're looking at the charts, we could see that Cardano has broken out above its downward trending resistance that it has had over the last four or five months, really. Since the beginning of the year, Cardano has been trending down. If we look on the daily charts or even on the 12 hour charts. And now if we're looking at the 12 hour charts, it means that Cardano has broken out of this descending triangle that has formed and it is continuing to hold above the 50 cents per coin range, which is a very important level for Cardano. So moving forward, the next resistance we have, major resistance we have, if you use technical analysis for Cardano, is sitting right at 70 cents per coin. So keep an eye out on that. We'd like to see Cardano stay above 50 cents per coin and moving up into the Vasil hard fork. But ultimately, that's what's going on. A lot of exciting developments taking place um, for Cardano, the overall crypto market, and specifically that Vasil hard fork coming up within the next couple of days. But hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know your thoughts. Are you bullish? Are you bearish on crypto as of short-term metrics? Uh, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.